and the day. Don't be no time to pray. Bring your with us a drink and wine. Trying to use a dollar just to buy a little time. Can you tell me about the conquering king? Little Lord, I'll be, I'll be with you. This is one week's dead, as shown in one issue of life. I couldn't get them all on one poster. Sorry. But we feel very strongly about a ceasefire right away in Vietnam. I'm with the Another Mother for Peace movement, which originated in California. This is our logo. And admittedly, just being here today is itself somewhat ambiguous. Because one of the things I had to decide before I came was whether in the light of the letter from the Premier of North Vietnam yesterday, and in the light of an argument that has been made the demonstrations of this sort simply harden the North Vietnamese against any real negotiation. I had to decide whether my action, and I would take it that most of you had to decide this too. Hi, I'm Stoney Burns of Notes, and this is Sterling Morrison of the Velvet Underground. How are you today, Sterling? Fine. Uh, this is uh, any war rally uh, here in White Rock, and I understand you played a lot of benefits in New York. For yeah, we've done a lot of benefits. Not anything of a you know for an anti-war thing. You know, we've attended you know these you know giant rallies in in the park. Uh, the actual beings. Um, had you know implicitly uh, an anti-war tone, like all the giant uh, you know beans and flopins and everything else. Uh, I, you know it's essentially the same people. Uh, it's just nice that this thing was so well coordinated that the whole country could do it all at once. You know. How does this compare to uh, rallies in New York? Well, there, you know there are fewer people, and uh, I think in New York there's a, a tone of anarchy that's kind of missing here. You know, it doesn't exactly belong here. from New York, you know, that's where like people were living, and um, and they were very upset about what happened in Chicago. They really did intend uh, to encounter, you know, non-violence. You know, they expected they'd be able to uh, do whatever they wanted, and you know, and not have anything really bad happen to them. And that wasn't the case. And so some of them, uh, I'd say, a lot of people now uh, are prepared. You know, to at least accept violence and uh, and maybe you know expect it in advance, which wasn't the case, uh, you know, a year ago, say. I don't think in the South or in Texas they expect the violence so much, uh, as in a lot of places where uh, a political thing is uh, a little stronger. You know, that, that, that I said is an advantage. It's really uh, fortunate that there aren't rival groups here. Uh, you know, attempting to steal the thunder of uh, the afternoon. I don't know what's going on uh, in New York or in San Francisco, but uh, I would say this is the way it should be. You know, it's a really nice day and people playing music, and uh, and they're just you know, you know, pacifistic. I think so too.
Mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> Asia. And that makes sense. You know, it's practical and logical that we should have our boys back home immediately, perhaps by Christmas, you know, really. It's in, the name of in the name of common sense, dignity, and self-respect, we must condemn and stop the needless, premature, unprovoked deaths of thousands. Let us admit we made a, 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 a mistake, a terrible mistake, let Johnny come marching home. Thank <laughs> you. 